Bob is in the house again. I'm back from Mexico. Damn, it feels weird to film myself in this room already because like I haven't been here and I haven't been uh, filming videos here for a week now and it's kind of like oh damn it's been a long time already uh but the skill is gonna go back the skill is gonna come back for sure if you read the title you're probably wondering like why or what's going on in this video like uh what do you mean by that uh and like honestly this video is gonna be about honesty <laughs> i feel like there's gonna be a lot of cuts in this video because i'm just gonna express my thoughts uh i was thinking about like this video to do this video uh pretty much the whole time i was uh, in mexico uh i was i had some more time to think about myself to think about what i'm doing in my life and uh, particularly in youtube and like particularly you know what i'm gonna what i want to deliver to my uh audience uh who is watching this hopefully you're gonna stick with me throughout the whole video i have something nice to share uh, something is important to share to my audience and I really want to let you know that Bob is not gonna lie in the reaction videos and it's gonna be he's gonna be completely honest in his videos so let's just go ahead uh, and talk about this in more detail well uh, let's do the introduction to this video uh, Bob is in the house he's gonna make honest videos first reaction <laughs> let's go so basically first and foremost uh the reaction videos i have done uh it's not fake you know i was not faking it uh it's actually how i felt about uh, some song some artists um even though like uh, you might wonder right like when you're like watching all the videos like every time he's happy every time he's liking the video uh the the song and it's like that but usually it's just like i'm reacting to the artists i want to listen to and i'm excited about i have uh, you know huge experience in music uh, like listening from four years old uh, to all kind of stuff you know um in four years old by the way i started to listen to this guy eminem <laughs> with my dad and like uh, yeah of course you might think oh what a dad is this like who's gonna i was like telling who is showing uh the music the abrasive music like that you know with explicit music like that with bad words in it but really uh in uzbekistan when we were there um the words english words didn't matter because we both pretty much didn't understand what this guy is talking about he was talking about but uh really i mean <laughs> his flow was nice his music was great his beats were dope and that's why we you know i cannot swear um we loved it <laughs> we loved it <laughs> by the way i cannot swear by the way uh because uh again uh youtube is not allowing because not really YouTube is not allowing advertisements advertisements are not gonna be in the video not gonna be placed in the video if you are swearing you know I don't know how they're detecting this but actually um, yeah you're not you're not gonna see the ad my audience is not gonna see the ad from what I'm making money uh, not yet but <laughs> just saying uh, hope to make money one day basically advertisements won't be there if I'm gonna swear so let's just not swear so I went off topic as you can see that's why there's a lot of cuts because like my mind is like hey let's talk about this let's talk about this like it's a mess right now I really want to share a lot of things uh, so coming back to what I was saying uh, pretty much I react to the music I love and like uh, to the artist <laughs> to the artist I, I didn't th I didn't think that it's gonna be like hard <laughs> alright so I'm reacting to the artists I know and like uh, that's why I'm so excited about them I'm like oh yes like new song came out by this artist by that artist and we're gonna listen to this we're gonna listen to that and like oh jump around and you know and i'm really feeling that way uh sometimes there are artists that i know but they are not to me they're not ex excited for example uh let's say halsey or haim or lana del rey or imagine dragons <laughs> or lord for example right so 
uh, these artists, let's say, when they uh, they come out with the music, I still like want to react. I I think of reacting to them positively because like even though like maybe I'm not gonna enjoy the song or music maybe I'm not into it that much but I know that a lot of people are into this artists and I'm not saying that they are bad artists it's just like those artists for example I uh, so I like some of their songs I like maybe their work in the past but like um, uh, am I like waiting like passionately uh, for their releases or for example if Imagine Dragons am I like searching oh when the new album of Imagine Dragons is gonna ha come uh, no and like uh, maybe I will like one or two songs out of ten but like uh, really uh, my takeaway from those albums is not that much but I, I like you know I, to my playlist I'm not uh, picking um, uh, a lot of songs out of it or like I'm just not listening to the whole album as I usually love to do uh, I love to listen to the whole album um, you know albums like Catch Us Rainbow or Tyler the Creator's um, Flower Boy Kevin Harris album was dope and you know other albums Jay-Z so when they come out with the albums these people uh, I'm not really into for example I still come with the open mind that hey actually I might like it and I kinda put myself a lens optimistic lens uh, or I listen to the older their stuff which I like and it's like oh actually you know this album this artist is good and so like I become sort of hyped to it a little bit you know like for example again I'm using Imagine Dragons uh, experience because uh, Imagine Dragons um, as an example because uh, me and Chris, uh, my friend Chris, uh, whom you have seen uh, in a couple of videos, uh, he, like, we were talking about like uh, the music, and um, he wanted to put in the car Imagine Dragons album, which I am not really into, and like. Um, He's like you're not you're not really uh, into this album that much, right? And I'm like, uh, yeah, true. I I I love I <laughs> I'm uh, I I loved Imagine Dragons before, and I know why Imagine Dragons you know is appealing uh, to the ears to the people, but right now I'm not into them at all, and. Uh, I didn't want to give out a bad review saying that these songs I don't like, these songs are bad. It's because uh, a lot of people who will come to this will uh, hate on that because like I don't want to disappoint people like saying that this is bad when it's not bad. It's just like to me it's not relatable and I'm not into it. That's all. You know, like music, uh, it's like what you can relate to and what you like in terms of sounds, what kind of sounds you like, it's just all different, uh, it depends on the person, uh, taste, right? And so, me, uh, I didn't want to ruin that uh, experience for people and uh, usually when I do reviews I know that, you know, it's usually helpful for people, for example, to get into some artists for example i did uh sean mendes uh, there is nothing holding me back which i i like the song and uh i did that reaction and uh, that some of my um uh, viewers um they're like not the one person okay <laughs> she was she was like hey uh thank you for making the, this video i I discovered like it's it's crazy, but she didn't know who Sean Mendes is, and like I discovered this artist, and uh, like this song is dope, and uh, now I'm into him. I uh, I started listening to his both albums, uh, which was uh, Handwritten and Illuminate, I believe. I remember. <laughs> uh, uh, well, and so it's good, right? Like, hey, I I uh, made you to listen to some good stuff, to listen to some good music. And this channel is about exploring together some new music and see how we like it. And uh, it's just, I feel like I should have be more honest with my audience saying that, uh, hey, 
I I see the appeal, you know, I see why people like this. But for me, like I'm I'm sorry but I'm not gonna listen to it in my car or like wherever, like when I'm doing the homework, right? Like I'm not gonna get back to it because I just not I'm just not into it, right? And like in Imagine <laughs> in Imagine Dragons video review, uh I was uh like when I was listening, I was thinking back um, of 2014 uh, when I was actually really into Imagine Dragons. I was listening to Monster, Radioactive, and songs like that. Uh, and uh, to me, like I I love the sound, and uh, I was thinking about myself as I'm a person of 2013. Uh, as that person and like it kind of helped me to trigger my mind to like this song as in okay I got into it and also another fact that uh, another thing is like when I do the uh, YouTube uh, videos I like to make them and so like it's to me uh, it's great to come back to this camera and film myself I usually become more happy even though like sometimes I feel bad uh, I just turn on the camera and like uh, almost instantly before will the preparation of like my mindset like just like hey let's we're making a video let's be like we're sharing some material to the people right so smile and do good and so like uh, you prepare yourself as a content creator and then boom like <laughs> you you got this you know like you're more happy like and uh, when you do stuff it's actually uh, very engaging very interesting to do and you listen to the music like that's what I love to do and like I I love to create these videos and I'm more happy and even though um, the music might not be the best I kind of I will feel it I went I will dig it but it's only at that time uh, when I was doing like Imagine Dragons I was like uh the believer song which i actually hate <laughs> like i don't like like all of my friends like at one point of my life of my life <laughs> of this uh spring or summer whenever it came out right like uh when i was hanging out with people they wanted to put uh believer uh hey let's listen to believer i'm like oh, okay and when believer was playing i i just didn't like it and like I honestly was thinking, oh, can we listen to something else? And I just don't don't see the appeal of like why he's screaming that much and like why oh no like <laughs> this song just doesn't sound good like you know come on <laughs> like I'm like that into my head but like 250 million people on Spotify liked it so <laughs> I mean so okay like you know I just I was not into it and so uh, what I want to do now. It's like, uh, I want to tell at the end of the video, let's say, or just maybe the beginning, hey, like, I maybe I will praise the song and uh, I will say that, hey, I like it, uh, I, I see the appeal, but at the same time, I'm not really into it and I'm not going to listen in my spare time. It's okay, you can, you know, support your artists. I know that you like this uh artist that's why you came into this review to actually witness uh, something to witness someone saying good stuff about it or praising it or not even praising it maybe some for critique as well it's good to have critique uh, to challenge uh, people's minds like hey um, you love this album but let me tell you that actually I see here some flaws I see that this song maybe is not structured that well as you uh, as you think or uh, and show and tell the evidence why you know like we are here to discuss about music and people are underestimating in my opinion um, their audiences for example like in the reviews they keep it simple right they or uh, most of the people like I see uh, on the like music reviews right for example you, when you can when you search like Kesha uh, Rainbow uh, like don't get me wrong I love this album but like everyone was just like oh, Shook oh yes 
oh this amazing album <gasps> ah, like <laughs> and this is like to get your attention like on the thumbnail and I do it too because um, facial emotions like strong emotions like smile <laughs> or like no, that was a fake smile now you know my fake smile my uh, usually I smile smile real so uh, like or like oh like whoa like uh, those kind of emotions uh, they make people to watch the video and that's why uh, like almost all the people doing that but at the same time like for me um, honesty uh, loyalty and respect but we're not going to talk about respect and loyalty we're going to talk about uh, honesty honesty is dope like honesty is great and I'm an honest person and I, I want to be honest with people I usually share my thoughts as it, they are I don't want to fake it and I want to be real with you guys so that's why uh, Oh, actually, uh, when I was uh, listening to, for example, Lord's Melodrama, uh, another example, not only Imagine Dragons, right? When I was listening to Lord's Melodrama, the Lord, <laughs> Lord's album Melodrama is one of the best albums I have heard this year. But I'm not into it. I love the production. I love the lyrics. I love what she did there. I love the concept of the album. It was an amazing album. But we were talking about with Sam, by the way, about this. We're just like not into listening to it again and again. And I don't know why, personally, maybe like I don't want to be sad, but that's not an excuse to not listen to the album. Because like, for example, again, like Cassius Rainbow, I enjoyed it that much, but uh, and it has sad lyrics into it, but I like it and I go back to it. So I don't know what's up with that. I don't know why we cannot go into a melodrama album and listen to melodrama on a constant basis. But it's what it, it is. What it is, you know. Some people came from that review when I didn't say any bad word and like they loved it. But at the same time, it's okay now. I'm realizing that uh, you know. Um, it's okay to say something negative about it uh, or not negative if you I didn't feel anything negative towards Lord she did a great job but I should have said and I said it but I cut that part actually in while I was editing uh, at the very end of the video I said like I was explaining to in this video not in this video in the Lord's Melodrama video for two or three minutes that I like this album I love this album I love what she did there but I'm not into the album and I'm not gonna listen to it again. And I was telling this and I was explaining why, but I didn't have courage, I guess. I didn't have guts to post it, uh, to have that part on, on the video because I think about like having a bigger audience and I wanna kind of satisfy people with the content but actually uh, what matters the most is how you feel about your own content I love my content but at the same time now um, people should see uh, some like the complete honesty like let's say uh, even though in most reactions I'm myself and I'm real and uh, I like love the songs usually like don't get me wrong like I'm not hating on the songs I listen to again as I'm telling you I'm listening to the songs I the artists I like and so pretty much automatically I love what I'm hearing but there are moments and there are times that there's need to be said that okay um, this one is not appealing to me that much and I'm not gonna listen to it and that's fine you know because we all have our preferences we all have our music genres that we like that we don't like and as a music reviewer I felt that and I still feel like I'm, I should be open-minded to everything that I listen to and that's why I was actually giving this positive reviews to this albums, which, uh, for example, several of them, again, like Halsey album, I'm not into it. 
uh, Sam, I'm sorry, but I'm not into Halsey, for example, uh, but I, or AGR, AGR, uh, even though I loved it at first, now I don't want to come back to it because like just a ripoff of John Bellion, uh, John Bellion, like almost my idol, one of the like best artists in my opinion right now uh, in the music industry they just copied the whole sound of John Bell and like what is this like come on like <laughs> make your own stuff you know but if the album or the song is not appealing still like even though I'm open-minded even if it's not your song it's not your song you know if if I don't like it I don't like it and that's fine again we all have all like different music genres and tastes and let me express my own uh, musical taste let me express what I actually like and what I dislike so that you know me that you will know me more uh, and what I that you will like know what I actually like and what I actually dislike and you will just come closer to me like you will be closer to me you will know me more uh, as a person by doing by giving my honest like completely honest let's say that uh, not 80 per not 80 percent honest but like completely 100 percent honest reactions uh, I will be you will be able to know me better and I feel like it's good it's good direction to go and uh, when you and negative reviews should be there and if like you don't like the song I mean I'm talking about myself if I don't like the song it's okay negative review should be there you know it's to ch challenge uh, the listener tell him okay again I'm, I'm again reiterating like repeating the stuff more like, again and again but you got me you got me right why negative point negative reviews is actually necessary because they're completely honest and honesty is rare uh, especially with music reviews and I want to be completely honest and that's gonna help us uh, to be together to talk about music more open mind more openly you know uh, and yeah I feel like this is good what do you think yeah we're gonna end it here uh, it is a long video it's a long video I'm sorry to keep it that long but it was just worth to me like worth mentioning worth sharing this video I hope that you were here all the time and sorry for the all the pauses all the weird uh, talkings uh, and uh, repeat repetitions and I'm gonna end it here thanks you guys thank you guys for watching hit the like button if you like this video uh, you can hit the dislike button if you dislike this video uh, subscribe to this channel Although, <laughs> yeah, probably only my subscriber will watch this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Пока. Hi, auf Wiedersehen, arrivederci, adios, ciao, ciao, amivar, hold office, goodbye.